Oh, that experience of the juniper tree. There's many of us find ourselves under the juniper tree. I get myself under there many times. To a place that you don't know what to do. You're flustered. Frankly, I'm right under it now. And wondering, oh God, what would you have me do? Oh, if you're upset and frustrated, don't go to church. Come to Christ. Hallelujah. That's the only remedy. Don't apply and turn a new page. Just get a new life. Christ is the answer. Amen. There he laid under the juniper tree. He didn't know what to do. His nerves was broke. He was shaking. He was crying, no doubt. And he was in a terrible condition. Many of us hit those places, especially after a Mount Carmel experience. That's to me the other day by someone about that. And how that what would we what can we be done? What can be done for us at that time? There's only one thing to do commit yourself to God. Amen. Now, I know that a man can overwork himself. And a man can underwork himself. A man, God knows this man needs feeding. He needed something to eat. And under this place here where he was laying, God had to do something for him. God has to do something for every man that comes under the juniper tree or he'll go to pieces. He has to do it. If his servant's laying under the tree yonder, don't know what to do. He's carried out his commission. Elijah said, Oh, Lord, let me die. I've had those feelings after I'd come out of a meeting. It looked like I tried and preached and begged and persuaded. Seen the angel of God sweep to a meeting and do signs and wonders. Sit in a car on the outside and hear a crowd say, I wasn't into psychology. There's nothing to it. Nothing to that. That's all nonsense. Oh, then I crawl under the juniper tree. I'm like, Lord, what did you, what did you let me do it for? What can it be done? But we all hit those experiences. But the mercy of Jehovah to his servant. God knows your trials. Just know this. He knows all about it. So he comes down. He knows his servant needs some rest. So he just puts him to sleep for a little while. While he's laying there waiting to recuperate or praying to die. Lord, my father's died before me. And now take my life. I've done done enough. I've fought a good fight. I've finished the course. But there was work to be done yet. God wasn't through with his prophet. He still had work. No matter how much we cry out and think this, that, and other, nothing can take us until God is finished with us. Amen. I'm so glad to know that. Sometimes you feel like, as I did one time, put a pistol against my head to commit suicide. But I couldn't do it. I took my glove off the lid on a high voltage line where I was working, but I couldn't do it. Something still helped. The same God that was with Elijah, that same God today. He seen me under the juniper tree, my wife and baby laying here in the grave, and my daddy and my brother. And oh, I was just about gone myself. I've laid under the juniper tree. It's hard. I got to a place I saw beside myself. I tried to make a gun shoot my brains out. It wouldn't do it. See, there's work yet to be done. Something has to be done. God wasn't finished. You always take care of you. Poor, tired, weary servant. He saw him. He knows where he was. He knows where you're at tonight. 
You may be under a juniper tree, everything gone. But remember, He knows where you're at. We don't need a whole lot of refixing up. 